How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of the son of Frankenstein. This one is probably just as bad as his father. Good morning, sir. Well, hello. My son, you have inherited the fortune of the Frankensteins. I trust you will not inherit their fate. Why haven't I been your worst friend What are you going to do about it? There's a monster of a new night. Wait, is it? We warned you. You're starting this thing. I know I am. And so here it goes. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute. I'm Tom Lang. And I'm blah, 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 blah. Bill hey. Evenson. I'm Bill Evenson, and you've joined us for Son of Frankenstein Minute 70. So, so we're almost Yeah, it's got to be. Done. Are we in the credits? Is this Dino one? on? Yeah. Have we got Dino? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. got to be <laughs> yeah, he's, the I Dino him, episode. I got him right, right here. All right. <laughs> Bring on Dino. Where's Barsky? Because this movie's over. That's right. No. No, not no. Even, it's going to be yeah. a few more months. <laughs> yes. Yet. I think it's March of next year that this wraps Jesus up. Jesus Christ. There'll be another pandemic. Monkey pox. will be monkey pox. Monkey pox now. No, and you, you and your COVID ways, you probably have monkey <laughs> pox <laughs> by then. <laughs> You're obviously so reckless. You're out getting monkey just, pox. Just and, spreading germs left oh, and right. It's disgusting. Yep. Oh, that, what a nightmare. Belong Dead Studios North, my ass. <laughs> or maybe that's the name. Maybe that explains the name. <laughs> disease, disease infested yeah. Belong Dead Studios. He say you tell him monster walk again. So. This is a nice callback to an earlier scene where Igor eavesdropped. So mm-hmm. I, I confess, I think uh, a lot of this movie won't. Oh Jesus my God. <laughs> we got another winner. Another winner. <laughs> another winner. <laughs> And now it's King Kong versus Godzilla. No bootleg. Uh... Bootleg DVD. I some of this movie kind of washes over me, but so I had I hadn't thought about it in much until we got uh, preparing until we for this. To do this yeah. And uh, yeah, he's saying he say you tell him monster walk. He, Igor knows, he this, knows happened this happened because he watched he saw it. it. Yeah. He eavesdropped. Yeah. He dropped some eaves. He did. So did is that something did you've you... always thought? Or... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What were you going to say? Did you look up the origin of the term eavesdrop? <laughs> well, no, like they don't do say those, it. They don't you say like it to do in the those movie. Sort of things. Okay. But no, um, um, I, I think uh, uh, dropping an eave doesn't seem like a thing that you do uh, uh, surreptitiously. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's a weird one. Yeah, he just uh, he just run away in no, the woods. Well, he's, he's, <laughs> you, Benson say you tell him Frankenstein walk again. He came to see Frankenstein walk. <laughs> Benson run, run, run. <laughs> no, wait a minute. You, you're quoting the character in the film and changing it. We've crossed a threshold, <laughs> and thank God it's about time. It's about time. Yeah. I think uh, they have these. Uh, you know, so here, here's a got any questions? Wise asked from years ago. Now. Okay. Remember we put Tom Baker at the beginning of an episode introducing. Oh yeah, we did that. Saying, that's Congratulations! Right. I think it was a three year thing. Yeah, that so deep, it was about a year ago. Deep fake uh, little voice. Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. So there's an app. I, I, they have online. It's not an app. It's a website. No, I think it was I two years it. ago. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably two years ago. Two years ago. Um, and uh, someone did comment on YouTube. I think saying, "So Why? you're just not even going to mention." this you just got tom baker on there and strangely enough i haven't seen tom baker uh say anything since you went to the bathroom you went Mm -hmm. to the bathroom and i i looked on my phone i was just scrolling Uh and there's a video where they have all the doctors praising the nhs so david tennant and jody whitaker and tom baker's on there i'm like man he looked pretty good for a thousand he's got to be a thousand (laughs) years old and the voice is Still, still that yeah sonorous yeah anyway uh so we did tom baker and so the technology is there, I believe, that we should be able to go through and make Igor's voice. When we wouldn't use technology. We'd just have you we do just, your okay. Igor voice and say, <laughs> Frankenstein, walk! Frankenstein! <laughs> Benson, run, run, run! Benson, say, you tell him Frankenstein, walk again! <laughs> Frankenstein, walk! Benson, run! <laughs> All right, so somebody take that audio and just put it on the video of this yeah, minute. It right. should take about a second. Yeah. It should should be pretty, should be fit to, perfectly. You should be able to do it. He just run, oh, run, 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 run where? Well, Ben, first of all, Igor finds this hilarious. I like that. Yeah. I actually... <laughs> I mean, he okay. actually has his arms up like that. <laughs> yeah, he really literally does. Yeah, he puts his arms up like that. I think... It, it, this is a spot where it would have been nice to have it all in one minute. So if you go, if you can remember back to last week, last week, I can't. When I just he says, did it twenty minutes ago. Yeah, 
when he says, uh, have you seen Benson? And he says, yes. You know, that, yeah. th- that whole section up to run, run, run is a great uh, example of Igor's, you know, just he's, he's, metho- he's a prick. He's a, um, <laughs> he's a, he's a shifty character. Yeah. He's up to no good. He, he, what am I trying to say here? But he, he's prepared he's, for this. Yeah, he, he, he's well, had some time to either, think about. Either it. he prepares, or he's much quicker on his feet than Wolf is. Well, that shouldn't I mean, take too that much. That does. I mean, that's almost my certainly dogs true. are quicker on their feet than Wolf is. And so. then there's every reason to think that Igor is. I mean, he's he's only clever. Or no, we did see him do some one like one stupid thing, but I can't remember. I can't remember what, what it was, was, but yeah, yeah. he did something but really stupid. But overall, yeah, he yeah, overall he's been pretty. He might crafty. be just thinking on his feet. Yeah, but I. think think he's got this all figured out yeah like i said he so th- it's interesting to me because if you you have a scene where a character eavesdrops on a conversation between other characters and then later that information calls it back, calls it, back it usually isn't i heard you tell him this and then i had him killed yeah. you know what i mean it, yeah. it, so it's a little uh it's a little obscured or well, that's not the right word but it's a little weird mm-hmm. but he's he does actually use that information yeah, yeah. he said you told him this yeah. That's pretty good, actually. So, yeah, so, yeah. He's That's got pretty a, clever. He's got an alibi right there. Right. Because he knows this actually happened. I wouldn't go so far as to say an alibi, but an explanation. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, yes. yeah, I saw uh, him. I saw him. He told me, he said you... Fuck t- you. I saw him. He said you did this. I don't know. Yeah, he was weird. Yeah. I did. I thought he was behaving very <laughs> yeah. strangely. What was the quote? <laughs> his, his behavior... His manner was His manner was very strange. strange. <laughs> his manner was very strange. <laughs> yeah. uh, the whole Igor part has to be replaced with your voice. <laughs> His manner was very strange. Very strange. Run, 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 run. <laughs> uh, are you? Wait. No, where did he run oh, to? Oh, this is the, yeah, where did he run to? He's not in the castle. Nope. Uh, he just run away in the woods. <laughs> You're doing both parts. Thank goodness. Godness. That thing's enough to scare anyone. So this is fucking fantastic. Wolf's first instinct is to not only believe, believe Igor's Igor. story, but to verbally back it up. Yeah, like, like oh, we're yeah. in a conversation. I said, "What happened to Jackie?" And you're like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I don't know. Ran she away. said you were a prick, and she yeah. ran off." And then I go, "You know, oh, she doesn't yeah, really she... like me all that." Much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. no! <laughs> this interrogation is going, it's going terribly. Yeah. <laughs> you're terrible at this, Wolf. <laughs> and you gave up the ghost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's giving him more ammunition. Yeah, that, no doubt. That that thing's enough to scare him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I I know what you've just told me is true, and here's why. Yeah. It's just just yeah. terrible. That's yeah. just, this, uh, he's, he's he, didn't, ever, he didn't go to interrogation for, school. For a, for a uh, college professor, he's not very bright. Once he's failed at that completely, yeah. then he tries to turn it around yeah. well, and I, says... I, I didn't think Benson would come here. Oh, that's true. He does two lines because that line is more of that. Yeah. Right? More, he's, more he's, he's, he's swallowing well, the story. He's swallowing the story, yeah. The, the line doesn't yeah. make sense unless yeah. you assume Igor is telling the <laughs> yeah. truth, well, which is uh, a great idea. Yeah. Why, would, why would you doubt... Why would Igor... Why would he lie? <laughs> why would you doubt Igor? Yeah, I mean, really. Who could be more trustworthy than <laughs> Igor right? at this point? Right. That we've had 70 minutes... <laughs> <laughs> of fucking <laughs> lie after lie after every th- once again though because we yeah. talked about this uh, I don't know six or eight weeks ago e- uh, uh, Wolf has nobody has ever played into Igor's hands better than no, Wolf he's just, from, from yeah. the word yeah. go like yeah. the, the, the the first thing you see in this movie is the universal logo then it says son of Frankenstein and then right after that everything, everything uh, Wolf does yeah, yeah. is exactly what Igor wants yep. and so why wouldn't you trust him? Exactly. He's a good guy. Yeah. Good man. Oh, yeah. good, good man. Good man. <laughs> well, there is that, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a personal connection yeah, there that a, I'm not seeing. Oh, Igor likes yeah. me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else does, but Igor thinks I'm a good man. Igor thinks I'm a good man. Why wouldn't well, I trust him? Yeah. That's how it works. There's a weird pause after he said, I didn't think he would come here. Right. There's sort of an awkward pause. Are you telling me the truth? You didn't kill him. Yep. Now, now the now, interrogation yeah, kicks yeah, into now, high gear. Yeah, yeah now he's, <laughs> he's playing it subtle. He's yeah. playing it close to the vest, <laughs> Wolf is. <laughs> it was all a ploy. To get, Wolf's yeah. more clever than oh, you can credit yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, I guess he's, so. he's stringing him along. <laughs> And then he, then he, then then he, he pulls then out he, the pull, tough questions like, are you telling me the truth? <laughs> you didn't mm. kill him, did you? Hmm. Sorry. 
I mean, <laughs> the Igor's response to that is priceless. It totally is. I yeah. love it. I like actually. Uh, okay, so I, uh, I'm not even sure what you mean because there are two levels for me why it's priceless. So what? Here's what I. Here's the first thing I like because the first thing he says is no, 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 no. no. So if someone says to you, "What would you, you didn't kill him, did you?" No, no, no. no. Don't I mean, be they, silly. <laughs> what, they, what are we? No, animals? no, no yeah. silly. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. <laughs> that would be. We gotta see, do. We a, are doing you know, the whole dialogue. We, we gotta. We gotta do a the what's up, Tiger Lily. What's up, Tiger Lily? What's up, What's up, fucking What's up, Tiger what's up Lily Wolf Frankenstein? Shit. What's up, Wolf Von <laughs> Frankenstein? V a u g h. So that's and, this is a murder accusation. You didn't kill him, did you? No. no. Yeah. So that's what happens. And then why? I scare him. Oh, I'm sorry. You should do should it. I? Oh, why? I scare him to death. I don't have to kill him to death. Iconic line. Yeah. Really, really it's great. Good. It's great. Really great. Yeah. And he becomes a Popeye character at that point. It yeah. Sounds I like suppose. something a Popeye character would say. Really? Um, yeah. I'm not a big Popeye guy. Oh, so it's I guess a character I don't know. Giesel who was. Uh, okay. It's especially in the movie. Uh, Richard Libertini plays him, and he's hilarious. Okay. I kill him to death. Is he, he actually says that? Really? He should be killed to death, or something like that. Yeah. Oh man. And I think See, it goes I'm back to. Out. I think it goes back to the uh, E.C. Seagar uh, comic strips. Okay. From the 30s. He, that he says that? He says, oh, yeah, yeah. All he right. should be well, killed. There you death. go. But uh, would that be before Son of Frankenstein? Yeah. Interesting. Now, so I, don't, I don't think there's any direct oh, connection. Oh, I just, I, it's just what I hear in my head when I hear that. Yeah, I get it. It is a heck of a line, though. Oh, it's a great uh, line. I think it's fantastic. And a bit of a coincidence. And Lugosi he delivers it perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um, He's great in almost every scene. The other thing is there's a real honesty to Igor. So when he says, I scare him to death, or you said it, I can't do it. <laughs> scare him to death, I don't need to kill him to death. It really comes off as believable. Mm -hmm. We don't believe him, but you can understand why Wolf might. Again, it, it's sort of like uh, making the lie bigger. Like if you, if somebody oh, okay. comes to you and says, uh, you know, did you get the mail? And you're like, wait, what are you talking about? Why, yeah, I didn't I don't know. Why would you ask me a question like that? I don't know. Igor has none of that. Yeah. It's like... Oh yeah, fuck him. Yeah, I'd like to kill him, but I, don't, I didn't wouldn't have even to. bother. You know what I mean? I don't to. even have to kill him. Yeah, yeah. That's fuck that guy. Yeah. So I think it adds to that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Wolf doesn't say, "Well, why the fuck are you going around scaring my you, servant yeah, to death? What did you do that for? Why? What the fuck are we What's talking about, you? you asshole? Yeah. This is fucked up. What you've done here? <laughs> no. Now he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't care he doesn't at care. all. He has no. no. Okay. Well, there's nothing I need to do. So fine. <laughs> you got anything else, Igor? I yeah, think we're ready to wrap this up. Igor laughs, which evidently wakes the monster up, frightens him almost. <laughs> yeah. Frightened. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's <laughs> going on here? Yeah. Okay, so one thing I did have, and I think I talked about this last week, is it's, I think it is interesting. Okay, well, first of all, what you're talking about, Frankenstein's like a fussy baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like ah, yeah. Ah. But it is interesting that, and I said this already, but that we have seen Frankenstein kill someone, but it isn't Benson. So yeah. the conversation about Benson doesn't seem, he, he never bothered, he, Wolf doesn't follow up with, oh, oh, and also, did you kill yeah. Neumuller? But he, I guess he, he doesn't he know. He doesn't yet. know. He, knows, he doesn't know who Well, he yet. knows there was, you see, I don't think Wolf was bright enough to make the connection to there what Krog is told to Igor and the monster. Okay. Who, Frankenstein, Krog, you mean? Uh, Frankenstein, yeah. <laughs> Igor and Frankenstein. Igor and yeah. Frankenstein. <laughs> Krogh knows right away this is probably what happened. Looks right looks, looks right at Wolf. like, you fucking asshole, yeah. what did you do? Sudden do? death, huh? Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. The Whispering Ghost, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I know all about this. <laughs> Milton Burrow was fantastic. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, yeah, Frankenstein's like a fussy baby. Yeah. Hey. Well, the subtitles say Frankenstein wailing. I actually say monster wailing. <laughs> 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 that's true I don't think yeah. he's wailing wailing so much. is he's, a bit of a it's, it's, I noticed that exaggerating too, yeah. it. it's, he's calling he's out of, to Igor, hey, hey. I guess I mean alright so it, it's gonna have to come up periodically probably during maybe all, all of the rest of these movies how the modest sorry how Frankenstein <laughs> has been diminished so Frankenstein yeah. in the first film had great menace and he was yeah. uh, sim very sympathetic and you know all the things that we've talked mm -hmm. about for a long yeah. time and then in Bride, in some ways, that even was more even so. more so. And then now, we just, we've abandoned all it's, that. Yeah. And now he's a fussy baby who just, eh, f because somebody... You're fussy murderers, literally, because somebody laughed out loud. Somebody laughed. Somebody honestly, LOL'd. 
somebody LOL'd while I was on my gurney. Yeah. Or what was it? A table. Table we're going with. And then Igor and Wolf rush over to him, and it immediately calms him down. That's Igor his, does, yeah. That's his superpower. Yep. He can calm, calm down Frankenstein. Up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's sort of a non sequitur. Some sort of relationship, or what? What does he say? He has some sort of control some sort of over him. Control over his yeah. hypnosis, or some, mm. something more elemental. It seems more elemental. It does. It's it hypnosis like, is preposterous. That's, it seems that's like a stupid thing to say. Yes, I think. Yes, I agree with that. Well, he. All, I mean, he does then immediately say, or something, or something more else more. Elemental. But um, you've been in. You've been in a room that has a baby in it more mm-hmm. than me because uh, yeah. I I had twins, mm-hmm. and so that all. The whole baby period concentrated. lasted in one time. Yeah. And then you're a grandfather. Right. And so th- this is how people behave in a room that has a baby in it. This is just, they yeah. come running over. Yep. Like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's it's yeah. Oh, Instantaneously oh, peek, respond. Peek, yeah. He does a little peekaboo. <laughs> Monster kind of. <laughs> Monster giggle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wish. Boy, this remake is oh, going to take a while now. Yeah, yeah. Igor's going to do Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, dear God. Yeah. You know, it's like by the fifth episode of the day, we're usually pretty yeah, punchy. Usually, yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of punchy. And then, then there's sort of a non sequitur. Okay, so here's what I have. Where does the ladder into the sulfur pit lead to? Exactly. And my comment is, okay, maybe this movie didn't have a script. Because it is (laughs) such a non sequitur. Yep. There's no explanation for it. And as you're watching it, it's, uh, yeah, it's completely bizarre. It's jarring. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? It it almost feels like seriously like mm-hmm. like somebody had a script and then they redid the scene mm-hmm. and then they said but he needs, he to, needs say to say this, this. here yeah or, or he needs, this... yeah he needs to say this why doesn't he just, he just say, say it, it here? here yeah they're standing right by it why, <laughs> why not, not? Uh, actually that's a reason not to yeah because theoretically he he would be like pointing to it and saying hey you know. Well, he does. Since we're here, he does kind of look at it. He does yeah, oh, a little okay. bit, but All not. Right. It's not enough to justify to justify that he yeah, suddenly mentions suddenly it here. Suddenly, it out. Yeah, um, we've got multiple it, murders have taken place. Yeah, uh, His, sudden death in the village. Uh, Benson's missing. Bruising at the back of the neck. Benson's missing. His heart exploded. <laughs> His watch is in <laughs> someone's ass. Well, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, that's a different movie. Uh, you know, I think where the ladder leads to is uh, an intensely hot, chokifying, suffocating death. <laughs> because, <laughs> That's the Because it's about answer. 455 degrees down there. I forgot there. about that. I forgot that that they have Plus been incinerated. The ba- vapors alone. Like when, probably... when Igor had his hand up, like you said, when uh, Wolf came Wolf in the room, he in. was actually probably going to say, you're about to you're die. You're about to die. We're Coming all in. going to <laughs> die. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Doing the Igor voice. We gotta just we gotta so you know. All all right. <laughs> okay. And so yeah, that's the actual answer to that question. Yeah. But uh, Igor, Igor just says cave. Yeah. Though the subtitle says a cave, he does not say a cave. He just says cave. Interesting. I hadn't noticed that. I cave. Think, so there's because I list, I played it back a number. Well, of let times. me actually. I have the subtitles. You're right. It does say a so, cave. A cave. But here's the thing that I was gonna ask though is the next line is cave. Cave. He might say a cave. No. He doesn't either? No. Okay. So it's cave. 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 <laughs> I fucking you said cave. cave you, did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I get upset. I yell like about okay, cave. Honey, I okay. get very passionate about cave. It's okay, honey. <laughs> <laughs> He's very soothing. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh. good bedside manner, I think. You kind of, yeah. yeah. Uh, the literal, yeah, he's yeah. on the bedside yep. this time. It's warm. We stay there in winter. Also cool in summer. <laughs> he's nice. <laughs> I have Jimi Hendrix poster, black light, <laughs> black light, black light, lava lamp not working. W.C. Fields playing poker <laughs> poster. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. No, you have to say all these lines I just said as we oh, paste them all in. Exhausting. It's warm in winter. It's, it's cool in summer. It's summer. perfect. It's always nice. perfect. Come down and see it. This cave. Bean, this man cave. Bean bag chair. We got <laughs> I have bean bag chair. <laughs> we got I have many bean bag chair. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, war- it's it, warm in there. Yeah, it's like I said, 455 yeah. degrees warm in there. Probably warmer. 
If I remember the geography, and I guess we'll see we'll how it see turns how it out. Plays out I assume that's the cave they're talking about. It's this is right. I, yep. I was just gonna say. I, that's what I was gonna talk this through because we got a lot of time. Yeah. We'll, uh, uh, Wallace is still working out. Yeah. So we gotta. Okay. So you take where they are now and walk back to the back of the frame. Mm -hmm. There's a ladder there. We've seen people come up it. Yeah. If you go down that ladder, it goes all the way. Here's what I think. I think it goes all the way down into the sulfur pit. Yeah. And halfway down, you can get off the ladder because right there is the cave. cave. There is cave. Is cave. There is cave. Yeah. And cave is warm in winter. And then I think cave connects to that crypt. Oh, oh, even better. That would answer a lot of problems. I think, I think with it the does. Geography. No, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't work because because Wolf's asking about. He's it. like, "What the hell is that?" Although it is Wolf, and he <laughs> yeah, is so, stupid. So he could have been there already. <laughs> you know, okay. well, cave. That's I why just he... fucking showed you cave. <laughs> <laughs> pull head out of he pull head out of ass. That's why I just said cave. Like you know, cave. <laughs> What's what? the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what happens. That makes sense. I buy it. Okay. I think. I mean, based on what happens later. And and you know, I, the part about it that you said about it, it, it going to the crypt is incidental. It doesn't matter. No. But it, at least that's the geography of it because we will see that later. Yes. All right. Okay then. So here comes the sound oh, of the, the, sound bar, bar, bar. the music and the. Any more questions? Wise ass. All right. So we're gonna comment paper. on our post. I'm, yeah, I just, it just started playing. Oh my God! What? Uh, I posted the difference between the DVD and the Blu-ray for minute sixty-four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It says five hours ago. Well, I saw it yeah. when I got up this morning. Eighty-eight likes. Really? And people are going crazy for this. Oh yeah. John Cox says, "Fantastic! Thank you." So I'm hitting like on that. Let's see who the people are. It's kind of a weird combination. Like people that I know that don't have any interest in Frankenstein sees these posts, I guess. Well, I think some people just immediately like, oh, Bill posted something, so I'll yeah, like Yeah, I guess. You know? Yeah. So that's that one. Okay, so let me go. All right. Uh, the sound of a thing happening is happening. What, what is it? The music. It, it, that music, theme music can only mean one it's, thing. Yeah. Uh, it's time for oh. Got Any Questions, Wise Ass, Extended Edition. Oh, oh, oh. I think we're going to have an extended edition. Okay. All right. Got my uh, mortarboard on again as professor. That's that's that part of it? I yeah. hadn't, I never really picked up on the fact that you've been putting that mortarboard on every time. Oh, yeah. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. I thought you were just being eccentric. <laughs> well, okay. a little from column A. <laughs> a little column A. All right. And uh, this week... Our commenter is Chuck again. Oh. So I think this is three the, time winner. I think it is. Yeah, it's his third one. So we had Will. Third, third week in a row. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah. I don't know if it's in a row. So it was Ruben, uh, Will. Yeah, this is Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. the third Chuck comment. Are yep. you ready? Yep. Uh, I haven't seen this. And this is from presumably, let's say, minute 60. Four. Sure. Three. Probably three. It's be three. I don't know. Chuck says, I sort of get the vibe that Wolf is a glory hound. And more or less said, I thought we had failed. So do you remember the he said... He's uh, talking to Benson. I too thought, thought we, we had, had failed. failed. So that's what he's talking about, I think. Yeah. Then I realized I had really succeeded. Oh, I see. Yeah, I sort of get the vibe that Wolf was a glory hound and more or less said, I thought we had failed. <laughs> but then I, I realized I'd really succeeded. succeeded. Benson, someone to share failure with, but gets no credit. Yeah. No wonder he wants to be with Igor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, why not? All right, thanks, Chuck. <laughs> we got one more. Okay. So this was earlier today. Someone responded on Twitter. Okay, so this is to this week, to the last week? Yeah, to 64 is... Well, I mean, I can see yeah, it. 64. Wolf Von Hissifit. Mm -hmm. Edward Logel is the name he uses on Twitter, but his Twitter handle is at JohnnyEddie54. So he's either... Oh, I see. Edward is Eddie. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like when we're mad at, at our dog... He, He's Edward. I see. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. He says, regarding that so-called grotto scene. So tell me what this means. Because we did talk about yeah, Hef's grotto. Hef's grotto. There's a grotto scene? Grotto. How did this come up in minute 64? Because <laughs> I'm, it, 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 I'm trying to remember. Yeah. it's gonna. We're going to need to know what he's talking about yeah. in order for me to keep <laughs> grotto scene. So Oh, here. This so is, that's this, a grotto? That's, well, I probably referred to it as such. Oh, then, oh, actually, now that you say that, then everything yeah, on here makes sense, sense now. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how much you're going to cut out. It'd be maybe great if you read it cut out. Pretend we just started reading it. Oh, start over? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> says regarding that so-called grotto scene so this is we assume it's the missing footage mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, it's hard for me to describe it. Every time I say it, I, I think I've got it wrong. It wasn't missing. It was it just, just a different not, print. Just a different edit. Different edit. So th for decades, we've had one edit that didn't have this footage of Frankenstein, Frankenstein and, Igor and Igor walking, walking through, through this. sort of a grotto. Yeah. Yeah. Hef's grotto. Hef's grotto. Yeah. That, yeah. So Edward says, uh, or Johnny, regarding that so-called grotto scene, I swear that scene was in the old TV prints of the 1960s. Oh. As a wee lad of nine, I seem to remember it. Okay. I guess we have listeners across the pond that use the term wee lad. Wee lad. As a wee lad of nine, I seem to remember it. However... Well, if that's the case, then that would be the print that he would have seen, because it's the British print. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that all, well, I'll, Maybe it shows where he is. Let's see. He's in New Jersey, USA. Okay. So, so Jersey no. is in the UK, so that's yeah, probably yeah, what that so, is. Yeah. What, is it New Jersey now? There's <laughs> all these jerseys. <laughs> Look, I remember when we were satisfied with just Jersey. Jersey, but, but uh, hey, change whatever. Everything. However, major scenes like the whole mirror sequence in the lab was edited out and not seen on TV until 1970. Hmm. Too long for local TV then. Well, I suppose they had to cut it down to fit in a two-hour time slot. So you got all these movies. They're all about 70 minutes. Right. And you got one yeah, fucking one asshole. One big that's... giant wood tick that's... <laughs> <laughs> almost, it's, it's almost two hours long. <laughs> a big bloated wood big tick bloated on the on the <laughs> festering know, in the fur of I don't know, Frankenstein's Frankenstein. vest. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> Frankenstein's big furry coat on. <laughs> furry coat, hairy coat, hairy coat on. There you go. So there you go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's I know. It's very possible because I'm possible. sure. Yeah, because I didn't see it on local TV. I didn't see it till I saw it on Cinemax or Showtime or one of them had a, a monster fest okay. where they had like 24 hours of Universal. Uh, that was the first time I came across it. Mm -hmm. I don't honestly recall if that was in it or not. Yeah, it's hard to remember if this, this five seconds yeah. was in there. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't, didn't I see don't it until any... it came out on VHS, okay. like I've said. Yeah, yeah, it came out on VHS shortly after that. Okay. Sometime in the 80s. But, I know I bought but, it in the 90s. But it's very, very possible that that was in there and stuff was cut. Yeah. Because, uh, like I said, to, to pigeonhole a 100-minute movie into a two-hour time slot with commercials, something would have to go. Sure. And, you know, I mean, the mirror scene, it's it's actually it's Karloff and Lugosi. I'd hate to see it go, but it does not really propel the story any further. Uh, that What a shame, though. I mean, that's... Uh, it's a good scene. I, yeah. That's like I said, not I'd... what this movie needs is a, a more tightly... You know, a tighter plot. The plot of this movie is <laughs> there is a plot, not particularly relevant. Saying. I mean, there is a plot, yeah, but it doesn't. We don't it, need it. it. It's just that's not why we're here. It's just started in these <laughs> last few minutes that we've talked about it. That's true, yeah. actually. Yeah. So you're saying that you think that Igor is using Frankenstein to kill his? Uh, well, we'll talk about it more. Yeah. We got more. We got plenty. That's what. That's what the evidence that. points to. The evidence points point. to yeah, that being yeah, the plot. Yeah. Uh, I I think uh, though, uh, looking back on it. He says he, if his profile says he lives in New Jersey, USA, but he uses a term like as a wee lad. I don't know. I mean, I'd use Maybe that. he grew up in the UK. That's very possible. In which case, yeah, that so, print, so let, as let we us, said, let, had, let us know. Edward. But he's, he's talking about it being on TV and having to be cut down. Well, why don't I, I'm, to fit. I'm Frankenstein Minute. Why don't I respond right now? There you go. You are the voice of Frankenstein I'm going to say, interesting. You know, I, I can where did you Where did you see it? Where did you see it? On TV, should I uh, as I a wee lad pop in my VHS that I still hang on to in the U.S.? Well, you got one right here. It's right up there. Should we do that or should I? I'd have to. I'd have to hook up a VCR, oh, and I don't uh, even know where I, I have. Ain't it. Fucking, I ain't fucking sticking around for that. Yeah. I got dinner reservations. Mm -hmm. So here's Actually, what I put. So Interesting. I. Where did you see it on TV as a wee lad in the U.S.? I'm gonna hit send. So now you've just rendered this whole bit meaningless. Kind of. Yeah. Now I'm interacting with him uh, six weeks before this episode comes out. <laughs> Well, so then in uh, minute 71, we'll have the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's, that's just, oh, people can look forward to that. Yeah, there's something to... Uh, oh, that's good, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Nice little... So, thank you for your comments, concerns, questions, <laughs> uh, insults. All those cards uh, and letters that are uh, flooding the threats, studio. Uh, yeah, hate mail. Uh, hate uh, mail, thank you. So, you know, you can address mm -hmm. all that to Frankenstein thing at whatever, <laughs> and uh, we'll answer it, or we won't. 
So this, this must happen to you too, because I, I tell people I have a podcast. Mm. Oh, that's really cool. What's it about? Mm-hmm. And then I describe it. And it's like, oh, <laughs> I'll have to listen to that. And you know full well that they won't. Uh, yeah, it happens all the time. Uh, I generally don't say I have a podcast. I try not to say it because <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. But <laughs> well, so you're ashamed. Yeah, maybe that's <laughs> that's probably <laughs> correct. <laughs> no, I just don't. I just don't know how to talk to strangers about something like that like, yeah i mean it, it, it exposes your your nerdiness yeah pretty pretty yeah. nakedly and well i also don't want like my boss to listen to my podcast you know because uh, yeah i mean I, I hate him and i don't want him to know <laughs> no, i'm just kidding yeah, i actually I, like my boss i know either. i did i do too and i i know she would never yeah. ever listen to it that's a good yeah, yeah. that's a good point that's a, probably not something worth worrying about yeah i had a co-worker at my last job that airline i worked at mm-hmm. whose favorite movie she she's like 30 uh, her favorite movie is Bud Abbott, Lucas Delamy, Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, so I'm like, oh, clearly we have something in common. I yeah. mentioned the podcast. I talked to her about it. And yeah, it's just nothing. nothing. She just likes that one movie. Oh. Yeah. So, so um, in about four years, she'll she'll be. That's true. I'll have to. We'll have to have her on. Yeah. And the point of that was actually, I'm mm. a friend of uh, Lou Costello's daughter on Facebook. I thought about planting the seeds now. Of hey, Lou Costello's daughter yeah. as a guest. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I think it's her that she talks about. W- w- wish it was in color because the sets were so amazing, and you know the guys in the makeup they looked so cool in person. It had to be a hell of a thing. I mean, Can it's forty eight, imagine... so you go there. I mean, I don't know how old she, she is, but really if she was little. alive, she was a little kid. Yeah, and you know what these things are. There's yeah, these right. are the things from the movies. It's like yeah. walking on the set of a Star Wars or a, yeah. whatever. You just walk on and go, yeah. "Oh my fucking god, that must be so amazing." Well, it's kind of like being at the Universal Backlot. I guess almost, you know the the European Village. It was I know all this stuff. Right. I know the geography here because I've seen it. See, so many to me, times. it would just be the set of the Good Place. Oh, I yeah. really liked that show. Yeah, I did too. And some of it was still painted like that. Okay. Some of it had been toned down for something else, I assume. The, the, that like town square where they do stuff on that like show the, periodically the lawn, looks the, so small. Is it it's smaller than I think or bigger? It's small. It's yeah. small. Because it looks bigger. I mean, on, it even looks small. You yeah, know what I mean? but it, it looks a lot bigger on TV. Than it does on... Even, the, even on the video I shot, everything looks bigger than it was. Okay. Because like at Warner Brothers, the... Uh, Gotham City Hall from the TV show where the you know Batmobile would pull up and then they'd get out and run up the steps. Wow, I've forgotten that. Okay. Every episode, pretty much. But just that shot. It's yeah. not like they used it again. No, okay. they shot it once. I'm sure yeah. it looks big on TV. It, we drove, you know, we came around the corner on the tram, and there it is. Yeah. And my friend Chris pointed it out. That, that's the and I that can't be. It's so small. Yeah. But then the guide, like, immediately, yeah, no, to your left, you'll see the Gotham City Hall from the TV show Batman. And like, wow. Huh, okay. Huh. So, yeah, everything looked smaller yeah. in person and certainly closer together. Yeah. Like, like the European village seemed very close together. But on camera, it looks like yeah. it does in the movie, you know? Right. I was just trying to think. We went to... E- uh, well, I started to say Igor. Oh, yeah, where did you Tor- go to Igor? <laughs> we went to Torrier's house. Yeah. Tor Johnson's house. Mm-hmm. That looks small, but it also looks small It looks on small screen. on the screen, yeah. What else did we do? Nightmare on Elm Street house. We did? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Oh, yeah. I got a picture of it. Huh. Yeah. We remember were... that we had a list of things, but I, we, no we memory could only of do, doing We could only them. do those two. Oh, that's right. We had something to do or whatever. We, it must have been the one day we had something was, to do. It was Dino and, and Tom Bell were coming over to record. That was that day. Okay. We had to get back. Okay. We were, yeah, we were going to see like the Brady house and the sure, Happy that's Days right. and that's right. a bunch a of other list. things. Yeah. So we got to do those too. Like I'm not leaving until I see Tor's house. Yeah. And then uh, Nightmare on Elm Street house happened to be nearby the In-N-Out Burger that we were going to <laughs> okay. for lunch. Well, that makes a lot of sense because yeah, yeah. I usually uh, make sure to find time to get to In-N-Out Burger when yeah. I'm out in and out there. Those are good burgers, Walter. Yep. And the fries are really good for 10 minutes. Yep. If you get them to go mm-hmm. and go bring them back to your mm-hmm. hotel room, yeah, not you so just much. throw them in the garbage because yeah. they're not good anymore. Yep. Okay. Did we cover? Oh, uh, follow us on, uh, on Twitter and. We might respond. Let's, do you want me? To, do you want to see if Eddie re- oh, responds? Is my response yet? Already? Yeah. Uh, mm, nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Talk to you next week. Bye. You know. Uh, Come on. Stop.